Hey guys, Technometry here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to fix this unable to join network and usually the name of some Wi-Fi that you're not able to join pops up every time you try to connect to a network. And we're going to show you guys how you can actually fix this and also explain to you some of the reasons why you're seeing this. And if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaway. So make sure that, that like and subscribe. But also if you guys are in the market for one of these devices at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section. So the reason why you're seeing this could be multiple reasons. So the five top reasons why you might be seeing is this first thing is that the Wi-Fi that you're entering the password for might be incorrect. So the Wi-Fi is maybe something else and you think a password is correct that might be wrong the next thing is could be the Wi-Fi signal that you have here is actually further away from the router so that signal isn't strong enough for you to connect to your network the third reason you might be experiencing is that if your modem has some sort of compatibility issue or connectivity issue that needs to be resolved first and fourth reason why you might be seeing that again is there might be a safe password that was used for that Wi-Fi but it was recently changed or someone changed it and now you need the new password now you're not able to join the Wi-Fi because that password had changed and lastly could be hardware related if your Wi-Fi antenna is broken internally now that will kind of cause you not to be able to connect to any Wi-Fi or matter of fact the Wi-Fi that you used to be able to connect to. So those are the top reasons why you're going to see that error. Now let's talk about the solutions that you can do. So the first thing you want to do is especially when you see this error it could be very minor you might hit that OK button so you might just hit OK and then go ahead and turn on and off your Wi-Fi. So you want to go ahead and Turn it off by clicking on it. It will be grayed out. Now that means your Wi-Fi is turned off. Now you're going to go ahead and select it back again. And this time it will reconnect to your Wi-Fi. And you should see that signal. Now that's the most simple fix that you can do. Now if that still hasn't resolved the issue. Or if you're seeing that this is grayed out. And you can't turn it back on. That's an indicator of the Wi-Fi antenna being damaged. And you need to get that checked out. Uh, by opening up the phone which again generally most likely you're going to take it to the Apple store or third party repair store that actually knows how to open it up because that could uh, potentially be a, a long and sort of more advanced repair for you. Now if that doesn't fix your if problem now the second solutions that you can sort of do for it is actually go ahead and disconnect and reconnect from that network so what do you mean by disconnect so you might be already selected to one and you think you might be connected well go ahead and click on that eye icon that's uh, with the circle and this time what we're going to do is go ahead and forget this network so we're going to forget this network because we simply don't want to join it now if you forget that network it basically removes any say passwords anything that was ever stored now you're going to go back and click it again and this time enter the password again and this would be very helpful especially if you are if you have changed your password or the say password was a bad password that you initially entered so that's going to be your solution number two now solution number three is that you want to do what's known as a network reset now this could be done through the settings and this time you want to go to general and then go all the way down where you have this transfer or reset iPhone you're going to click on that now this time around you when you click that you're going to want to click on the first option do not click on the second option okay again the second option will erase your phone and delete everything you just want to select the first option for reset and then there's going to be a bunch of reset options the one that we want to do is the second one where it says reset network setting we want to click on that and this will just simply delete all of your network setting and return to factory defaults so all the connections that you ever made with the phone will be removed and you'll be able to connect again this will not delete anything on your phone from your photos videos apps everything on your phone will be there it's just the network settings will be uh, deleted so I'm going to go ahead and click on that once you click on that you will see the Apple logo pop up give it about somewhere between five to ten seconds I just let it do its thing which is going to delete any sort of bad network connectivity you might be having and we should be able to now get connected to Wi-Fi hopefully after you do that so again this is going to take some time it might be black like that for again like you said 10-15 seconds don't worry or freak out it's just doing its thing going through and deleting all the network that it has saved for 
So again, you're gonna give that a try, and now this time, same thing, you're gonna go ahead and see that if they have Wi-Fi connection, you might not, and then this time you're gonna go to settings, again, Wi-Fi connection, and go ahead and now pick your Wi-Fi that you're connecting to, and then one more time, go ahead and enter the password. And once you enter the password, hopefully this time you're able to join and you have internet connection. Now, if that didn't work, now it's simply the next step that we want to do is restarting your phone. It's always good to restart a phone to just clear up any sort of bad issues or configuration. And restarting your iPhone on one of the newer ones is pretty straightforward. It's going to be this big side button and then the volume up button at the same time. So when you press these two buttons, again, it's going to... This menu is going to pop up, you're going to slide to power it off, and then it's going to turn off, and then to, to power it back on, you're going to simply hold this side button, and that will restart your phone, and hopefully this time, if you had any connection issues, those are resolved. Now, the next solution that we want to do, it's going to be actually not the phone itself, it's going to be going over to your modem or your setup that you have, unplug all the cables, and give it about somewhere between a minute or so, and after a minute, reconnect it again. What this will do is reboot your modem or your router that you have set up, depending on the combination you're using. And hopefully any internal issues with your modem router will be resolved and that is preventing your iPhone connecting to your Wi-Fi. Now, the next thing you want to do after you have done that, and if it's still not working, it's going to be this uh, iCloud drive. You want to turn this on. So there has been a bug reported where in the settings, you have to go click on your name here, and then after you have click on that, click on iCloud here, and you'll notice here there's a bunch of iCloud options here. And here, you want to make sure that you have, again, in this settings here, you want to go ahead and check to make sure your iCloud is turned on, and look for this iCloud drive option, and make sure that this is turned on on again we've seen some issues on an earlier version of it where if you didn't have this on for some reason you would get that unable to join a network issue so make sure that is toggled on if it's like turned off go ahead and slide it over to turn it on now the next thing you want to do if you're still having issue is simply updating your phone to the latest version of the software again it's really important to always update your phone especially any sort of minor issues that you have to just resolve it. Sometimes when Apple releases a new version, it could mess up the phone in terms of there's a bug or some issue that caused the phone to somehow not respond or perform correctly. Again, usually not the case, but it's always good to go ahead into the settings and then go into general and then software update and look to see if there's any sort of software update. As you can see here, we have an update available. We can just simply hit that download and install and it will do its thing make sure you're connected to a power source or so and if you're not connected to wi-fi make sure your your cellular data your sim card is in there it could do it through the wi-fi and now through the cellular if it can do it through a cellular you can always connect it to your itunes uh, on your computer and it will update it through there again last thing of course we're going to mention is that if for some reason your wi-fi bar is grayed out you can't simply turn it turn it on and off that is an indicator again of the hardware issue in that case you want to contact apple supports and get them to take a look at it and generally it's going to be an internal issue with the antenna again we've seen some devices affected by this and apple knows how to fix that and sometimes if you're under coverage they might be fixing it for free so hopefully these troubleshooting tips and reasons help you guys uh, fix your issue of unable to connect to some network that you're connecting to and if something else also helped and you guys figure out how to fix that you want to share leave a comment in the comment section so thanks for watching guys see you guys next time